Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Gaplin TR5 Hryru, who wanted the goof as, as Indiana Jones, uh, with no flesh tone specified. Uh, that's what we've got here. Got, uh, you know, Indy tends to wear black shoes, khaki pants, a, a white shirt, and a leather jacket. Um, the goof's head is slightly different colored, because the fedora is slightly different colored than the, you know, dark brown jacket. And uh, also, of course, the request uh, requested that there would be a lot of heat rod play, which that's what we're looking at here. I am uh, currently at level, I think this is a level 2 goof. I think we're at 300, but this could be this could be 250, this could be the level 1. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to kill something or see something killed to figure it out. But, uh, yeah, uh... I, I did quite a few rounds with this. Okay, yeah, this is the one. This is the one I wanted to run because uh, uh, we just lost a teammate. I'm not. I think they must have just had connection problems because thing. It seems like really too early to rage quit. Something. Uh, if they rage quit, something really incredible must have happened off uh, camera. But regardless, yeah, it is now four a four versus five, and uh, with two raids of support. And uh, a couple generals, I think. And, uh, oh no, excuse me, it's uh, six versus five. Brain, come on. You know, there's only five people on the left uh, because I am not, you know, my square is not shown. But yeah, just uh, trying to get as much, uh, you know, heat rod use in as possible. And let's see, got the assist on that. And some decent looking support fire over on my left. But yeah, just... Uh, like I said, trying to uh, trying to do as much damage as I can. That tropical dom is really dangerous. I mean, it's three on one here, which is really dangerous in and of itself. But tr uh, the heat rod actually gives the guff a little bit of an edge with that because it can stun multiple people easily with side swings. But that dom tropical, of course, has type advantage on me, and it has a really strong downswing that you can just uh, really. Uh, you can put a lot of melee boost parts on that, even at low levels, and just absolutely demolish things. And yes, the presence of that Dom Tropical says that, yes, this is 300, so... Yeah, um, it's... that's... that's thing's gonna be dangerous for an awful lot of the round, so... But, uh, let's see. Now, to find a target, I'm going to protect our Jim Cannon, which means going up this hill and getting ready to uh, smack something that comes up after it. Which, I was going to start with the whip, but the, to be honest, I was at a better angle for uh, better angle for the heat, uh, heat sword, so that's what I started with, and then caught it with the whip while they were down. Decided to switch to this one. Um, mostly kind of playing defense here, uh, which, and there's the uh, Dom Tropical, which fortunately hit my shield, or I'd be dead. Just... Uh, well, maybe not at 8840, but it can do it can do damage. I, I have done like 6,000 damage on downswing with this thing, so yeah, made sure it was out of my air. But uh, yeah, um, it was kind of interesting watching uh, uh, watching that tournament the other night, and I did this round before I did. So, but I'm gonna have a round coming up later in the week that is uh, uh, that is afterwards. And just kind of, I'm going to talk a little more there about, uh, you know, what I saw, what it, what I, what it made me think about, and what I'm trying to do differently, at least while I have, you know, the attention span to think about it. Because I think there's some, you know, it's the top players in the game, obviously, but I think there's some good things to learn there. Uh, don't steer directly into the uh, support fire is one of them, but, you know, that's, that's just, it's a thing. Uh, but yeah, the, like I said, there was some some interesting uh, things going on there, and you know, worth worth mentioning. But back to this match, yeah, this is where I discovered you can hit things with the heat rod, you know, on top of the trench, and that is an important thing to know because it's there's not a lot of attacks that can just go directly over the trench. I feel like it's possible that the uh, downswing on the Gundam Hammer might do the same. If anyone has found that out for sure, please let me know. Managed to sneak in the kill there around our, our Gym Night Seeker 2. And I died because uh, finally the flashes stopped uh, long enough for probably the Dom Tropical, yep, to get a uh, bead on me. Yeah, it's got a bazooka, it's got a machine gun sub weapon, it's got a, uh, it's got a vicious, it's got the easy 8 downswing, 
which is modified by the uh, hover momentum, but also just has a lot, a lot. Uh, it has, it has the kind of damage the Easy Eight Downswing had before the Easy Eight Downswing was nerfed. Because yeah, it it is, and it's <laughs> at fifty points lower than the Easy Eight. So yeah, it is viciously strong, which is why I'm again doing my very best to get it uh, dead as soon as I can. Because if I don't, it will kill me. Somebody else got it, I think. That's perfectly fine. And again, just trying to keep things still. And, you know, just having to just switch targets as much as I can to hopefully, you know, fend off as many things as possible. Because, you know, just... I Other rounds I might be getting frustrated that it's like so many on one. But we are down at least... We are down one person. And we've got a support, uh, you know, in the back. So there's no, there's nothing... There's nothing to do but, you know, expect to be outnumbered. So, like I said, the goof's not bad for that, fortunately. And uh, somebody decided to opt for the base bomb, which probably not a terrible idea. Um, I'm kind of, you know, kind of trying to uh, think about when when to base bomb, again, just in light of having watched uh, that tournament, because there were a lot of bombs, and they sometimes they did work, sometimes they didn't. And I think I know what the deciding factor was, which is uh, when, you know, the deciding factor isn't when you do it, which, uh, but your team is a lot less likely to suffer from being down a person if they just move up to the base and support you with it. Because, you know, the enemy team's going to be distracted with trying to get to the bomb while they fight you. So that is kind of the best case scenario for when you're fighting with a person down. You can see we have now taken the lead with a uh, with one uh, being one person down. Well, two people down since somebody was bombing. We are now back to being one person down. They planted their own bomb, but uh, I don't know if we're going to get to do anything about it or not right now. Oh man, I was hoping I'd get that uh, Jim Two. Yeah, Jim Two can, uh, in case you didn't know, can now use the uh, Aqua Jim's harpoon gun. So that is. Uh, like I've said before, I really like that they do update to uh, older mobile suits with more of the weapons that they should be able to use. You know, the Double Zeta got a major overhaul. The Mark II, after the Mark II came out with the adhesive launcher, the Rick DS got it too. And number five managed to defuse the bomb late enough that it will not come back. So, yeah, I sent nice, and I'm going to try and get at least one more kill in, because there's no shame in losing this if we do, but it would be even better to win. So that's what I'm shooting for. And swing, 4,312. Nice. And there's that gym, which I did not have enough time to, uh, did not have enough time to, uh, stop it from knocking me down, but I also did not, uh, get myself killed in t uh, before the end. So that, yeah, that was a fun round. That was, you know, it worked out really well. And I think, uh, I think I did pretty well with the heat rod here. So I hope you liked it, tri -Roo. Yeah, 101,000 damage at 300. I'd say I did pretty well. Top assist at 720. Uh, our Jim Cold Districts, uh, one of them, uh, got top score. I wasn't that far behind, though. Four and five. Raids are fragile and, again, outnumbered. But I think I made up for it pretty well. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But yeah, the ability to just swing over the wall really does make a difference. And yeah, I think from now on, when somebody sets off a bomb, rather than being, uh, you know, irritated with them, I'm going to try and see if I can move up and protect them at the base, because that will be probably a better move than uh, than just hanging back and waiting to see if they pull it off or not. Because yeah, I just easier to manage the enemy team if they're distracted, I think.